But never I say my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po. Thank you very much. I have always maintained <clears throat> that this Akufuado Baumia administration is characterized by three EMs. The first is the economic mess that they have created in this country. The second is the educational mess. The third is the environmental mess. One would be thinking that a president who had openly pledged that he was putting his presidency on the line I mean, something as dear as the presidency on the line, he will leave a better legacy. Regrettably, the man that he made his minister of environment, somewhere 19th of March 2021, wrote a report to the president, report that was received at the office of the chief of staff. And you know within the presidency, after the president, the vice president, the next in line is the chief of staff. It will interest you to note that this report by the respected heart surgeon, Professor Kwabna Frempombwati, that was delivered to the president on the 19th March 2021 was never discussed. In fact, it was kept under wrap like a confidential national security document. In fact, it was just this year where Professor Frimpong Watson granted an interview to GBC. And in that interview, made the point clear that there are persons working in the sorry, Jubilee House, Jubilee House, sorry, who he named specifically <laughs> in the, oh, wow, <laughs> the Jubilee House. I, I, it, was, it was a conscious slip of tongue. Oh, but, no, but, no, no, but no, let's, no, no, let's no, no. <laughs> the, the Jubilee, you know, it's become much of a, a conversation now. But to the mm. Jubilee House, mm. where he specifically named certain individuals, persons who work with the president has been directly involved in this illegal mining popularly called Galamse. Now when the report came, the president hurriedly said, oh, I'm giving the report. Until Professor Frimpong Watson's report came this year, two years after it went to the presidency. We didn't know anything about it. Okay. Now, immediately the man started talking. The president said, CID, come and investigate. So they gave the document to the CID to investigate. Now, I have read the, I don't know whether it's an advice, a legal opinion, or whatever it is, from the office of the attorney general. And in that opinion, the attorney general basically concludes that the person's name and what have you in the Galamse report by Frempong Watson does not disclose anything worthy of criminal prosecution. So what? Nothing at all in that report merits criminal prosecution. But I wasn't surprised. I mean, one of the dubious distinction of this Akufuado Baumia administration is the fact that the president clears anybody found to have engaged in any form of wrongdoing. And so when the AG report came, saying that there was no basis for criminal prosecution, I personally wasn't surprised at all. But what is in the report that was controverted by the AG report? Nothing. In fact, Possibly because Professor Frimpong Watson is a scientist. If you read the report, the, the, he was so methodical, even in putting the report together. Each heading, you provide pictorial evidence. In fact, in one particular portion, 
He narrates how a company called Heritage Imperial, the, the, the level of devastation in the Diaso forest by this particular company. The attorney general is saying that no, this company has not done any wrong. Possibly the pictures that Frimpong Guatin put in his report were conjured from us. He just sat down in his room and took a picture of his room and put it in the report as the current state of the Diaso Forest. Look, your own colleague, Joe FN reporter, I think Erastus Asari, mm. he has done a work that corroborates this particular thing. What do you expect of the CID to do? The Frempon Guatin report provides only a lead. I mean, it's like a police CID goes to a murder scene, right? Then he sees the knife that was used. Right there and there, he cannot conclude that it is Kwejo or Ama. Mm. What you do is that the knife provides him a lead. Mm. What you do is to further investigate, possibly, whose fingerprints are on the knife, who is due. Then you do all the matching. That is what the CID will do. So the Frimpon Guatin report provides you a lead. And that lead is supposed to aid the criminal investigative agencies to probe further. They are simply telling like that the report on the face of it is enough. And so the CID, we have cleared. Attorney General, they are cleared. There is no basis. Was there any police officer or CID or investigator that went to the DSO forest to check what was going on? I have seen a video where Professor Kwam, who Professor Frimpong Watson specifically mentioned, a young man by the name Kwabna Sentry, had indicated, he did a video where he indicated how the said Professor Kwam, who was a member of the interministerial whatever, had given him a concession. The police CID and the attorney general says, we didn't do any investigation. That was it. Are they telling us that they never saw that video? Was there at any point that they invited a gentleman who did the video and specifically named Professor Kwam? Was there any such thing? Nothing. So, clearly, if you look at the totality of the reports generated by the Attorney General, it was the classic case of covering up the mess created within our forest zones. Is the Attorney General telling us that when the Minerals Commission and the Ministry is upset, the company owned by the NPP Ashanti Regional Chairman, Akonta Mining, were engaged in illegal mining activity within a forest. That one too, it didn't happen. So if you read that report by the Attorney General, in fact, if I have a copy of that, that what A plus did by tearing it into pieces on this show, I should have printed it to this when uh, it was coming. So that I would just tear it up here. Just to demonstrate the level of revulsion. Look, the, the, the effects of Galamse on our environment, water bodies. I've heard medical doctors say that today, women who are giving birth to kids within the mining communities they do not have their genitalia simply because of exposure to mercury and the rest so kids are growing without their limbs what wrong have we done and when there's an opportunity by government of ghana to demonstrate that this government does not support this illegal mining activity, 
the Attorney General decided to insult all of us, our intelligence, by putting together that report that suggests that all the persons named in the Galamsey report, look, your own colleague journalist who works for one of the FMs, either Peace FM, he actually gave a statement to the police where he himself indicated that he had been receiving money into his personal bank account at NIB. Which money comes from the Galamseyers to the task force, the operation vanguard or whatever. The AG says, what about that report? And so if you put the totality of the Attorney General's uh, 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 opinion or directive or whatever it is, you notice that what it does is to basically cover up for the abysmal manner that this government had handled the issue of Galamse. Right. And, and you see, the NDC, and we have served notice, which notice is deemed served, that people should know that there's no statute of limitation when it comes to crime. There's no statute of limitation when it comes to criminal conduct. Whatever it is, and, and you see, the level of distraction within that forest zone is not one you can easily reclaim. The activities of the persons named in the Galamsey report delivered to the presidency on the 19th of March 2021 is there for all of us to see. So the police, together with the Attorney General Department, can decide to cover up this. But there is going to be a day of accountability. All right. God have mercy upon us. If you give me thousands of Ghana cards and one US dollar, I will choose the dollar. So I'm a light and you and I got that. Hey, Mumu. Yes, we are dear bro, better so. She, 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 moon you. I buy a de bot, petty. Yet, the baby bot, bandaby. Sana will be Miami. You can lie your way to power. You can do all propaganda. Dollar rate will expose you. <laughs> The dollar has broken jail. You are pathological liar. You lie for living. Lies are your hobby. Google and Wikipedia recognize you as a liar. Your talent is to lie. lie. You promise me heaven and earth. You promise me the whole universe. None of them has been fulfilled. You said if I give you power, I will live like in heaven. Look at the way I'm suffering. Who can you? Who do you trouble my mind? What trouble my own? Oh, man, but what Can't 
Whatever I say, my pen dream TV. Pen dream TV, dear. I see them. You po.